the difference between the words three and tree, both and boat, though and dough, breathe and breed. Can you say these words accurately? Do you know how to say these words on the screen? Can you say the sentence? Thank your mother and father for the birthdays you have. Accurately. Like this. The sounds we're going to work on today are the th and the th sounds. As in three, something, and both. And th as in these, other, and breathe. Typical error that Vietnamese people make with the th and the th sounds when speaking English is that they say a t sound when they should say a th sound, and they say a d sound when they should say a th sound. So they will say tree instead of three, and tanks instead of thanks, and day instead of they, and breed instead of breathe. In this video, we will learn how to say the th and the th sounds well and how to distinguish them from the t and the d sounds. We will examine how we typically spell words with the th and the th sounds. We will practice saying words and sentences with these sounds. And we will test your newly acquired skills. So let's correct these mistakes and start speaking accurate English. Are you with me? Let's go! Very simply explained, the th sound is like the s sound but with your tongue sticking out of your mouth. To make the th sound you need to do three things. First, open your mouth slightly and smile a little. Second, raise the tip of your tongue and touch it softly to the upper teeth. The tongue can touch your teeth from below or behind, but the main point is that the tip of your tongue and the upper teeth must be in contact. If you smile, it will help your tongue to be wide and flat in your mouth and you can find the perfect position easier. Finally, blow the air out. The th sound is unvoiced, so there should be no vibration in your throat. Because you're touching the tongue only softly to the teeth, the air can escape between your tongue and your teeth as well as on the sides of your tongue. So you should be able to say the th sound long. Don't be embarrassed to show your tongue while you make the th sound. This is absolutely normal in English. However, if you really don't want to stick out your tongue, you can also touch it to the back of your teeth, of your upper teeth, like this and you can still make the correct sound. Make sure that you are not touching your tongue to your lips to make the th sound. If necessary, disable your lips with your fingers, like this. To focus on the contact between the upper teeth and the tongue to make the right sound. One comment about the positioning of the tongue in the th sound. I have seen English teachers and YouTube videos recommending that your tongue should touch both upper and lower teeth. But I find that this explanation causes people to say the th sound with their tongues too far out of their mouth and they close their teeth too much and air cannot escape without the tongue flapping a little, 
So they will say like this. In the sonar system, we focus on the soft contact between the tongue and the upper teeth and encourage students to smile a little while they are saying this sound. The benefits of this method is that you can see better where your tongue exactly is, you can focus on the tongue position more, you can disable the lips with your fingers if necessary, and the tongue can be pulled back faster to make the sound after the th sound in the word. Here are some words with the th sound. Thanks. Think. Three. Thursday. Bathroom. Birthday. Math. Faith. Tooth, earth. Pause this video and practice saying these words with the correct sound. Remember to smile a little and focus on touching your tongue to your upper teeth, but only softly. Use a mirror, if necessary, to check your tongue position. To make sure you remember saying the th sound correctly, Say it a little longer in each word, like thanks. Pause now. If you hear that you're making the t sound, and for example, you say tanks instead of thanks, or fate instead of faith, then you're pushing your tongue too hard to the teeth, and you're stopping the airflow. Only touch the tongue to the upper teeth softly, like thanks, faith. You can test yourself if you are making the th or a t sound by putting a piece of paper in front of your mouth like this and saying the th sound. If the paper bends like this, then you're making the right th sound. However, if the paper is flapping like this, then you are just making a bunch of th sounds, not the right th sound. The main difference between the th and the t sound is that the th can be said long, while the th sound can only be short and explosive. T, t, t. If you hear that you are making a s sound, and for example you say sink instead of think or mass instead of math, then you are not pushing your tongue hard enough to your teeth. Make sure that your tongue and your upper teeth touch. Think. Math. The th sound is the vibrated pair of the th sound, so they are both produced in very similar ways. To make the th sound, you need to do three things. First, open your mouth slightly and smile a little, same as with the th sound. Second, raise the tip of your tongue and touch it to softly to the upper teeth, same as with the th. The tongue can touch your teeth from below or from behind. But the main point is that the tip of your tongue and your upper teeth must be in contact. If you smile, it will help your tongue to be wider and flat in your mouth and you can find the perfect position easier. Finally, blow the air out with the vibration in your throat. The th sound is voiced. So there should be a strong vibration in your throat. And you can also feel a ticklish vibration in your tongue. Turn on your vocal cords. Because you're touching the tongue only softly to the teeth, the air can escape between your tongue and your teeth, as well as on the sides of your tongue. 
so you should be able to make the th sound long. Th the tongue position of the th sound is exactly the same as that of the th sound. The only difference is that the th sound is not vibrated. It's an unvoiced sound, while the th is vibrated. It's a voiced sound. If you need practice with the th sound, just click on the link popping up on the screen to go to that lesson now. Here are some words with the th sound. This. They. These. Those. Father. Mother. Another. Breathe. Sunbathe. Pause this video and practice saying these words with the correct th sound. Remember to smile a little and focus on touching your tongue to your upper teeth, but only softly and vibrate your throat. Use a mirror, if necessary, to check your tongue position and put your fingers on your throat to feel the vibration. To make sure that you remember saying the th sound, Say it a little longer in each word, like th this. Pause now. If you hear that you're making a d sound, and for example, you say day instead of they, or breed instead of breathe, then you're pushing the tongue too hard to the teeth, and you're stopping the airflow. Only touch the tongue to the upper teeth softly. They. Breathe. You can test yourself if you're making the th or the d sound by putting a piece of paper in front of your mouth, like this, and saying the th sound. If the paper bends like this, th, although it will not bend as much as with the th sound, then you're making the right th sound. However, if it's flapping like this, d, 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 then you're just saying a bunch of d sounds, not the th sound. The main difference between the th and the d sound is that the th can be said long, th, while the d sound can only be short and explosive. D, d, d. If you hear that you're making a z sound, and for example, you say this instead of this, or sunbathe instead of sunbathe, then you are not pushing your tongue hard enough to your teeth. Make sure that your tongue and your upper teeth are in contact. This, sunbathe. Hi guys, my name is Chao and I am an academic coordinator at Sonos. I would like to quickly explain to you in Vietnamese how to say the th and the th sound accurately so that we are all on the same page. Are you ready? Here we go! Âm th giống với âm th nhưng đầu lưỡi của bạn sẽ đưa ra ngoài. Để tạo âm th gồm 3 bước. 1. Cười và mở miệng ra một chút. 2. Đẩy đầu lưỡi của bạn chạm nhẹ lên phần răng cửa trên Lưỡi của bạn có thể sẽ chạm vào phía dưới hoặc phía sau răng Nhưng chủ yếu là lưỡi và răng phải chạm nhau Cười sẽ giúp lưỡi của bạn rộng và phẳng bên trong miệng và nằm ở vị trí chính xác hơn Cuối cùng, thổi hơi ra Âm là âm không rung nên cổ họng bạn sẽ không rung Vì lưỡi của bạn chạm nhẹ vào răng nên hơi sẽ thoát ra ở giữa lưỡi và răng cũng như khoảng không hai bên lưỡi của bạn Và như vậy, bạn có thể kéo dài âm Đừng ngại đưa lưỡi ra ngoài khi tạo âm Đây là một điều rất bình thường trong tiếng Anh Tuy nhiên, nếu bạn không muốn đưa lưỡi ra ngoài thì hãy chạm đầu lưỡi vào phía sau phần răng trên Như thế này Và bạn vẫn sẽ tạo âm Đúng Nhớ rằng 
bạn không chạm lưỡi vào môi để tạo âm Nếu cần, dùng ngón tay để giữ nguyên vị trí môi như thế này Làm vậy sẽ giúp bạn tập trung vào lưỡi và răng để tạo âm đúng Lưu ý vị trí lưỡi với âm Châu đã xem nhiều giáo viên tiếng Anh trên Youtube nói rằng lưỡi của mình phải chạm vào cả hai răng trên và dưới Nhưng cách giải thích đó khiến người học tẩy lưỡi ra ngoài quá nhiều và họ cắn hai răng lại quá chặt khiến hơi không thể thoát ra ngoài Vì vậy mà nó tạo thành một âm bong bóng như thế này Trong phương pháp của Sonos, chúng ta tập trung vào phần chạm nhẹ giữa lưỡi và răng trên Đồng thời, Châu khuyến khích bạn nên cười khi nói âm này Phương pháp này có ích ở chỗ một Bạn có thể thấy lưỡi nằm ở vị trí chính xác hơn 2. Bạn sẽ tập trung vào vị trí lưỡi 3. Bạn sẽ dùng ngón tay để giữ nguyên vị trí môi và 4. Lưỡi sẽ rút về nhanh hơn để tạo âm khi bạn đọc với từ Một số từ với âm Thanks Think Three Thursday Bathroom Birthday Math Faith Tooth Earth Dừng video và tập đọc âm Đúng Nhớ cười và tập trung chạm nhẹ lưỡi vào phần răng trên Dùng gương để kiểm tra vị trí lưỡi nếu cần Để chắc chắn rằng bạn nhớ nói âm Hãy đọc âm này dài hơn ở mỗi từ Ví dụ như Thanks Dừng video tại đây Nếu bạn nói âm th, Ví dụ như Thanks Thay vì Thanks Hoặc Faith Thay vì Faith Thì đó là do bạn lại đẩy lưỡi vào răng quá mạnh Khiến đường hơi thoát ra ngoài bị chặn lại Nhớ là chỉ chạm nhẹ lưỡi vào phần răng trên Thanks Thanks Faith Faith Bạn có thể kiểm tra xem mình nói âm Hate Bằng cách để một tờ giấy mỏng trước miệng và nói âm Nếu tờ giấy di chuyển nhẹ nhàng như thế này Thì bạn đang nói âm Còn nếu tờ giấy nhảy như thế này Thì bạn đang nói âm Chứ không phải âm Điểm khác biệt chính giữa âm và t là âm có thể kéo dài Trong khi âm t là một âm ngắn và có phần nổi nhỏ Nếu bạn nói âm Ví dụ như think thay vì think Hoặc math thay vì math Thì đó là do bạn chưa đẩy lưỡi chạm vào răng đủ mạnh Nhớ rằng phải để lưỡi vào phần răng trên chạm nhau Think, think, math, math Âm là âm rung của âm Nên các tạo âm của hai âm này rất giống nhau Để tạo âm gồm 3 bước Một, cười và mở miệng ra một chút Giống với âm Hai, đẩy đầu lưỡi của bạn chạm nhẹ lên phần răng cửa trên Giống với âm Lưỡi của bạn có thể sẽ chạm vào phía dưới hoặc phía sau Nhưng chủ yếu là lưỡi và răng phải chạm nhau Cười sẽ giúp lưỡi của bạn rộng và phẳng bên trong miệng và nằm ở vị trí chính xác hơn Cuối cùng, thổi hơi ra và rung của họng uhm. Âm uhm, là âm rung nên cổ họng bạn sẽ rung rất mạnh và lưỡi của bạn sẽ hơi nhột một chút uhm. Vì lưỡi của bạn chỉ chạm nhẹ vào răng nên hơi sẽ thoát ra ở giữa lưỡi và răng cũng như khoảng không hai bên lưỡi của bạn Và như vậy bạn có thể kéo dài âm Vị trí lưỡi của âm và hoàn toàn giống nhau Điểm khác biệt duy nhất là âm không rung trong khi âm rung Nếu cần luyện tập âm, bạn hãy nhấn vào link trên màn hình và đi đến video bài học về âm này một số từ với âm This They These Those Father 
mother, another, breathe, sunbathe. Dừng video và tập đọc âm z đúng. Nhớ cười và tập trung chạm nhẹ lưỡi vào phần răng trên và rung cổ họng. Dùng gương để kiểm tra vị trí lưỡi nếu cần và đặt tay lên cổ họng để cảm nhận độ rung. Để chắc chắn rằng bạn nhớ nói âm z, đọc âm này dài hơn ở mỗi từ. Ví dụ như this. Dừng video tại đây. Nếu bạn nói âm d, ví dụ như day thay vì they hoặc read thay vì breathe, thì đó là do bạn đẩy lưỡi vào răng quá mạnh khiến đường hơi thoát ra ngoài bị chặn lại. Nhớ là chỉ chạm nhẹ lưỡi vào phần răng trên. They, they, breathe, breathe. Bạn có thể tự kiểm tra xem mình nói âm z hay d bằng cách để một tờ giấy mỏng trước miệng và nói âm nếu tờ giấy di chuyển nhẹ nhàng, mặc dù không nhiều bằng âm như thế này Thì bạn đang nói âm Còn nếu tờ giấy nhảy như thế này Thì bạn đang nói âm chứ không phải âm Điểm khác biệt chính giữa âm và âm là âm có thể kéo dài trong khi âm đực là một âm ngắn và có phần nổi nhỏ đực, đực, đực. Nếu bạn nói âm z, Ví dụ như this thay vì this Hoặc sunbathe thay vì sunbathe Thì đó là do bạn chưa đẩy lưỡi chạm vào răng đủ mạnh Nhớ rằng phải để lưỡi vào phần răng trên chạm nhau This, this, sunbathe and bathe. All right guys, I hope this translation was helpful. Now, let's continue our video by looking at the spelling rules and practicing the and sounds so that you can speak English like me. In our courses, we see many students being able to pronounce the th at the end of words, but they cannot say it well at the beginning of words. Students like this can say both and faith very well, but they cannot say thanks or think. In a few cases, the opposite is true, and students can say thank and think very well, but they struggle with both and faith. This is when the hook and hack technique comes very handy. If you don't know what the hook and hack technique is, Just click on the link popping up on the screen and watch that video now. You can practice with the following word pairs. For the th sound. Both, thank. Faith, think. Bath, three. For the th sound. Breathe, this. Bathe, that. Teeth, they. For example, If you can say the th sound at the end of a word, but you cannot say it at the beginning of words, you need to do the following. First say both with a long th at the end. Both. Then say both and thank together with a long th and focus on saying the th sound accurately. Both thank. Finally, say thank on its own with a long th sound. Thank. If you can say the th sound at the beginning of a word, but not at the end of words, then start with thank, and then practice both thank, and then aim at saying both accurately. Pause this video and practice with all of the word pairs. Pause now. Guys, I have bad news for you. There are no complete rules on how we spell the th and the th sounds. They are both spelled with th and you just have to go word by word to know when we pronounce the th as a th sound and when as a th sound. 
However, I can give you some spelling rules, although these are not complete. Here are the rules for the th sound. The TH plus an R is always pronounced as th, such as in throw, three, through, thrust, thrill. The TH at the end of words is 99% pronounced as th, such as bath, both, faith, or south. Here are the rules for the th sound. The th followed by an e at the end of words is pronounced as th, such as in breathe, bathe, teeth, or loathe. The th followed by er at the end of words is pronounced as ther, such as in other, mother, father, either, weather. The th at the beginning of function words, such as in they, there, them, this, that, there, these, those. The th and the t, as well as the th and the d sounds, are often mispronounced by Vietnamese people. So let's look at some minimal pairs with these sounds. Watch and listen to me saying these minimal pairs and focus on seeing the difference in the tongue positions between th and t d, and hearing the difference in length. Th and th can be long and t and d are always short and explosive. First, some th versus t pairs. Theme, team, thin, tin, three, tree, thank, tank, both, boat, faith, Fate, death, debt. Now some th versus d pairs. There, dare, though, do, they, day, leather, ladder, another, another. Breathe, breed. Pause this video and practice saying these minimal pairs and focus on saying the th and the th sounds accurately. Use a mirror to check that your tongue touches your upper teeth softly and put your fingers on your throat to make sure that you're vibrating it for the th sound. Pause now. In the first activity, we will test your ability if you can hear the difference between the th sounds and the t d sounds in words. You will hear four words, and you will have to make four decisions. We start at one. After hearing each word, you will have to make a decision. Turn left or turn right, based on what sound you hear in each word. If you hear the or the th sound, you have to turn to the left. And if you hear the t or the d sound, you have to turn to the right. After four words, we will arrive to a city. Your job is to correctly guess the name of the city where we have arrived. And write the city names in the comments. Let's do an example. Tin. Tin. We're going to the right. 
they, they. We're going to the left. Thanks, thanks. We're going to the left. Team, team. We're going to the right. And we have arrived in Miami. In the first set of words, I will say each word twice. And you can see the word pairs on the screen. Are you ready? There, there. Tree, tree. Debt, debt. Though, though. Where are we? In the second set of words, I will say each word only once, but you can still see the word pairs on the screen. Are you ready? Breathe, thin. Boat. Faith. Where are we? In the third set of words, I will say each word twice. And you can see the word pairs on the screen. But I will cover my mouth so you cannot see my tongue if I say the th or the th sound. So you have to rely on your ears. Are you ready? Another. Another. Both. Both. Theme. Theme. Tanks. Tanks. Where are we? In the fourth set of words, you can still see the word pairs on the screen. And I will cover my mouth but I will say each word only once. Are you ready? Three. Death. Lather. Another. Where are we? Third activity will improve and test your ability to distinguish between the th and the t -d sounds in sentences. You will see a sentence on the screen where one word has two options. You will hear the sentence with one of the words being said. Your job is to choose which word was used in the sentence. Number one. The options are thanks in tanks. The president sends his thanks. The president sends his thanks. Number two. The options are three and tree. Wow, that's a big tree. Wow, that's a big tree. Number three, the options are sheath and sheet. The knife was hidden in the sheath. The knife was hidden in the sheath. Number four, the options are breathe and breed. How can these animals breathe in these small boxes? How can these animals breathe in these small boxes? Number five. The options are another and an udder. Bring me an udder of those cows, said the butcher. Bring me an udder of those cows, said the butcher. Which words were said? Write them in a comment. The fourth and final activity will improve your ability to say the th and the th sounds accurately in sentences. Look at the sentences, listen to me saying them, and then pause the video after each sentence and practice. 
focus on saying the sentences accurately and slowly first. Only say a sentence faster if you can say it accurately at a lower speed. Number one. Today is the 13th birthday for both of them. Today is the 13th birthday for both of them. Today is the 13th birthday for both of them. Pause now. Number two. Throw both of the toy boats in the bathroom. Throw both of the toy boats in the bathroom. Throw both of the toy boats in the bathroom. Pause now. Number three. Thanks to Mr. Smith for the three thin tin tanks by the tree. Thanks to Mr. Smith for the three thin tin tanks by the tree. Thanks to Mr. Smith for the three thin tin tanks by the tree. Pause now. Number four. Their mother couldn't pay the debt until the day of the death of their father. Their mother couldn't pay the debt until the day of the death of their father. The mother couldn't pay the debt until the day of the death of their father. Pause now. That's all, folks. But before you close this video, just one more thing. I know this has been quite a long lesson, and I'd like to give you two cool gifts as a reward for watching the video all the way through. The first gift is a free copy of the Sonus English Pronunciation Practice Booklet with over 30 pages of practice words, sentences, spelling rules, useful diagrams, and audio files, all designed and collected specifically for Vietnamese learners of English. To get it, simply click on Download Practice Booklet, subscribe to our newsletter, and we will send you a free copy right away. The second gift is that you can have your English pronunciation evaluated by one of our experts for free. To get this freebie, please click on Free Pronunciation Assessment and follow the instructions on the screen. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you don't like it, share it with your enemies. Enjoy your day and see you in the next Sonus American English pronunciation training video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.